physically they're still in school. But don't tell that to Columbus Magnet School's astronauts. They're in mission control and high above. It goes into lower Earth orbit. Thursday, the fifth graders in Columbus's Young Astronauts program launched their 18th mission, Memora Septum. We're honoring STS-107, which was the last flight of the shuttle Columbia. What happened is they didn't come home. It's important to recognize the past especially some of these people who dedicated their lives to this and eventually lost their lives. Andy Pierce has led the young astronauts for 11 years. It's a program students begin in first grade and their mission is the grand finale. Pierce says this is a full space experience. The mission closely follows the Columbia mission from 10 years ago, right down to the experiments in microgravity. Can you write in space? What is your weight in space? And what is your age in space? Set. One, two. The astronauts stay in their shuttle for a full 24 hours. It's down to mission control to make sure the mission succeeds. We basically have to keep them working. I give them problem solving situations. They have to come up with it and they realize they can't do it by themselves. Mission crew. We have to fix their, some, their problems and then tell them how to fix them for them. Roger, Columbia. We're teammates and we all were working together and that's really, it's all about team, teamwork, always. As we get through the program, they become more aware that this is something that you work together. It comes down to the old thing, two heads are better than one. We learn to work as a unit. We, we learn a lot of team building. And at the end of the day, what beats being an astronaut? It's like so fun. It's very fun. You get to be with your friends like more than just five days a week. You get to be with them like all the time and it's just it's really I love it. I'm so proud of these guys. It's so thrilling. You know that feeling you get up the back of your neck. It was great. With a little luck the astronauts will land back on Earth Friday morning and we'll be at the press conference. Mike Peel, it's relevant.com.